Piano play at ubobobo.com Hi, welcome back to another free piano lesson by pianoplay.com. This is David here and guys sit tight because today we're going to learn how to play three chord songs by ear. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to play the melody of the song in the right hand and find the chords while using the left hand. This will be very easy because what we're going to do is analyze the nature of the melody and according to that we're going to play the chords in the left hand while being familiar with the nature of chord progressions in music. So what we're going to do is use what we've learned in the previous piano lessons about the dominant chord and we learned about some basic chord progressions and we're going to take that to practice in the three chord songs. So we're expecting a lot of information and it will be brilliant. I think everybody should be able to play three chord songs by ear. Some of you might have this nature right away and some of you might have to um, put more effort in it but I'm sure after this lesson you're all gonna get it and if not you can always use the answer under this piano tutorial under this piano lesson so let's get to work so here's what we're going to do I chose for you some easy going songs so the melody is not hard and you can easily find it by ear if you're not sure how to play melodies by ear go to the play piano by ear piano lesson in the beginners course and learn about that. I'm not going to focus about that but about how to find chords by ear in this piano lesson. So the first song we're going to take is You Are My Sunshine. I'll start with the melody. So if we check out and we analyze the notes of the melody, we see that we haven't used one black key. So I can say, it. probably I can say something about the scale of this piece. If I'm using only white keys, probably I'm in a C major scale. C major has only white keys, but I can also be on a minor scale. I can be in the parallel minor scale of C major, which is A minor. If I'm not sure, I can look at the end of the melody and I'll see that it ends up with a C tone, which means that the tonic of the melody is in C major. Don't take my sunshine away. You see, I'm ending up in C major, so I know that I have to play on a C major scale. Now I can already say that maybe the first chord in the left hand would be C major, because this is the tonic. Remember, we said about the tonic, it's the opening chord, the first chord in the family chords of a C major scale. So, you are my sunshine. Okay, it sounds good if I think of it. Listen to it. And you see that I'm playing an E note on the beat because I have an uh, intro. You are my sunshine. And this is actually where the song begins. This is just entering an intro to the song. Yes, so what I'm saying really, that we have to know when we analyze melody, where is the on beat, where is the first beat of a bar. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Okay, you see what I'm doing? I'm playing the rhythm in the left hand. One, two, three, one. Okay, the notes on the beat will give us a really clear clue about the chord in the left hand. So if we are playing the E on the beat, okay, so we have to think which chord has an E note in it. And we already know that C major has an E note. Does F has an E note? No. And G? No. And we know that C is also the tonic, so... Okay, so as you see, we start with a C major, 
and I'm continuing to play and I'm moving to a C okay a C note and C major has also a C note so actually we can say that if we have that these are the most dominant notes in the chord and they really say okay to the left hand play a C major chord okay now let's move on you make me you make me happy okay so you make me happy so F is the first note on the beat is followed by an A note so look at that look at the right hand we're playing F and A which chord has F and A does C major has it no and we already played the C major so now my ear is telling me you have to move to a different chord and F has both F and A okay so you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy and it sounds so good so now we moved from the tonic to the subdominant you make me happy this is actually f in the second inversion okay if you were wondering what is it what it is you make me happy when skies are gray i'm back to an e note which chord has an e note yeah c major okay so you understand what i'm doing I'm figuring according to the melody, according to the notes that are dominant in the melody, which chord I have to play in the left hand. So what I did according to chord progressions, I started with C major, moved to F, the subdominant, and went back to the tonic. You'll never know, dear. Now it's the same story again. I have F and A, so I'm moving again to the subdominant and again to the tonic. And you know what chord I miss? I miss the dominant, and we are almost at the ending of the song. Have a look at this D note. Which chord has D in it? It's G major. So, because we are also at the end of the song and we're still missing the dominant we were so looking for, I can say that it will probably come now and the D reaffirms it. So, please don't take, I have a C chord, my sun shine away. So when we ended up the song, I had a tonic moving to the dominant because I had D in the melody on the beat. And look what I'm doing, I'm playing here B, D, F and G, which is actually G7 in the first inversion. That's what makes it easy to play the chords in the left hand. Please don't take my sunshine away. And after the dominant, you already learned that we always go back to the tonic. So let me show you the whole song from the beginning. I start with the tonic, I stay in the tonic, I move to the subdominant and to the tonic again, the subdominant. Please don't take my dominant away. Okay, so I'm going to quit this piano lesson in here, but if you want to watch the rest of it, all you have to do is click on the link on the right or below and go to the page of the three chord songs in Piano Play It, where you find the full piano lesson with loads of piano sheets, loads of piano tabs of three chord songs. So after trying to find a song by ear, you'll have the answers written in the free printable piano tab. So I hope to see you over there, and if not, until the next piano lesson. Bye guys. Piano play it. Com. Piano play it. Com.